How's it going guys? My name is Mark the Tech Guy here for another uh, unboxing. Today is basically going to be a follow-up video to my previous video which I actually picked up a couple of parts for my upgrade for my old PC. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Just do this knife, Swiss Army knife. You know these things, I, I've had this for a couple of, I believe, a couple of months now. Very sharp. And it still stays sharp. It's a very nice knife. So. Okay. Like I said, this is a follow-up video um, to my other video. I'll link. I'll put a link in the description or annotation. We'll see. Um, basically, what I did is I picked up an i7, i7 SSD motherboard. Um, SSD motherboard. Is that all I took? I think, I think there's one more thing. Oh, right, the case. I also got a new Corsair case for it. Um, which I mean, uh, I'm loving it. Um, it's very, it's so, it's 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 a lot silent. It's a lot more silent than my other rig, um, which had which had at least twice as many fans as this one does, which kind of explains it. Um, and it didn't even, you know, to be quite honest with you, it did not cool as good as I thought with more fans. So fan placement is also very important. So here is what I got. Uh -huh, Butterfingers. I picked up a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. Now I picked up this uh, heatsink uh, fan because I I felt I, I wanted to get a better heatsink and fan. Um, I've got an i like I said I got an i7 2600K unlocked unleashed just like how the box says. I want to actually put it to good use. I want to overclock that baby to four gigahertz, no problem. Like I want to just just as a start. After that, who knows, 4.2, 4.3, we'll see how stable it gets, uh, but that's my, um, that's my goal. Another thing um, was I wanted it to be efficient, to, to cool efficiently, but at the same time be quiet, be, be very silent. Um, like I said before, my new case, when I turn on the computer, I barely hear anything. It is super silent and I love it. Now. Uh, when I was picking out this um, the, this heatsink, actually, there is another model. Um, it's cooler. There's a cooler Acer Hyper 212 Plus, I believe, um, and it's basically the older version of this one. I, this is the newer version, Evo. It has a, it looks like it has a better fan design, uh, probably to pull in the air better, as well as the um, the fans. Uh, fans, jeez, um, the fins to actually disperse the heat. Looks like they did a better job of that. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've read a lot of good reviews about it. I went on some websites, um, overclocking websites specifically, uh, where they had you know charts, charts, and everything comparing, comparing this device to other devices. And this one is actually pretty nice because, from what I've read and compared, it cools very well. Not only that, but it's also silent. So that's a plus. I like that. Um, I like what's silent, but it cools as well. There is an older version of this. It's the Hyper, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Plus. Um, which basically, I mean, the main difference is this. This uh, the Evo. It looks like the fan blades are, but were designed a little better. So it's like more curve. Um, I guess it's just made so that it pulls in the air better, as well as the fins. They look like they can actually disperse the heat a lot better than uh, the older version. So that's always a plus as well. Like I said, um, I went online and I actually looked up um, a lot of reviews on this. Went on some overclocking websites. Um, I believe there's a fan. Um, a cooling website specifically where they do a lot of uh, charts and comparisons with like heating not not only air cooled but water cooled um, I'll probably put a link in the description um, and yeah I mean I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked about this another thing I picked up in addition to the fan which I think is a must for any kind of um, if you're going to be doing any kind of overclock or actually not overclocking but changing out your heatsink fan anything like that this is a must for starters, thermal paste. Don't go with the cheap crappy stuff. Get the nice good stuff. Arctic Silver 5. 99.7% silver compound. It's great. It, it's, it does wonders because what it does is actually between your processor and the heat sink, uh, there's actually going to be a, if you don't put any of this stuff in there, there's a gap of air. And as we all know, air isn't a good, um, it doesn't transfer heat very well. So what we do is we actually pick up some of this stuff, slap it on our processor, slap on the heatsink, and bam, you get a nice, nice connectivity. The silver allows the, uh, it allows basically the warmth 
coming off the processor to transfer very easily onto the heatsink, which then goes to the fans, gets dispersed by the fan, and there's your, there's your basic cooling. Like I said, there don't go with the cheap stuff. Go with the good stuff because if you go with the bad, if you go with the cheap stuff, you're you're not going to be satisfied in the end. You're not going to get good temps. And I mean, I've seen builds where applying just this Arctic Silver Five to a stock cooler, it makes it cooler by about you know a couple of degrees Celsius. So, excuse me. So I mean, it's not it's a pretty big deal. Of course, if you're going for like a world breaking record, I mean, you know, then it kind of <laughs> it makes more sense. But I mean, it's just it'll it'll last. It'll it's good for your processor, keep it nice and cool, and it's just good. Um, next thing I picked up was some Arctic Clean. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys actually use this stuff. Usually most people, to get the old uh, thermal paste off their processors, they just use normal rubbing alcohol and towels, like a paper towel. Now, rubbing alcohol, alcohol is good. I mean, it's basically, this is basically alcohol um, with a couple of additives put in there. So, it's basically going to do the same thing. Uh, however, the paper towels, don't use paper towels. Uh, use microfiber because the paper towels actually leave little bits of uh, fibers onto the processor. And I mean, it's just, you want a clean surface when you're reapplying thermal paste and reapplying your heatsink. And with this, you'll get there. With stage one, one, this is actual, get, this will actually get rid of the, uh, the thermal paste so you'll be able to wipe it off really easily. And then this is the thermal surface purifier, which actually this, I believe it has like a orange scent. Yeah, like a citrusy scent, uh, which basically it purifies, it basically gets rid of everything on that processor. It basically cleans it up like wiping a baby's butt with, paper, with baby wipes. Like it's just super clean. Um, so then you put down your thermal paste and you're ready to go. And I mean that will basically wrap everything up. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a review on the cooler uh, in a couple of days, you know, just to give my um, personal opinion on what I actually did compared to what I read about. If there's any, you know, if, if you think I might be able to do something differently, of course, put your put your comments in the comment section. Um, I do read them. I will reply because I want I want to get the best videos out to you guys. Like I said, if you guys like this uh, like this kind of content, you want to see more of it, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Once again, I'm Mark the Tech Guy, and I'll see you guys next time.